so I got Jordan back on the phone, and we're we're good to go. So um, let me see where I left off at. I have it written down. Sorry, man. Uh, so you said that you you felt that your your play this season halfway through the the year has been uh, pretty solid. All right, that's 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 where we left off at. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I said, uh, pretty solid. Uh, I feel like I'm playing, um, better with each game, um, which is always a positive, um, just being able to, you know, get off the ball, get the quarterback, um, get like move him off his spot or pressure him or just even harass him, um, is always good. And then in the run game wise, like I'm, able to show my quickness and strength, um, being able to get some TFLs and uh, just tackles along along the line of scrimmage is always good. Um, but even even while saying that, I definitely think there's um, more there's more there to to showcase, and um, I'm excited for it, especially because it's, it's halfway through the season, so. Most of the teams we played, we'll see them again. So it'll um, it'll be awesome to just um, get that opportunity again. Yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm at all the games at home, and I'm I'm watching you guys um, on TV. So I'm I'm seeing you know firsthand of of how everything's going. I I think uh, you're you're pretty disruptive back there in in the backfield, man. I think you're doing a good job. So I, I appreciate your opinion on that. Um, so what are your thoughts on playing in Century Link Field, and what are your thoughts on the crowd now that we're halfway through the season? Uh, it's awesome. Um, you know, when we were playing Tampa, um, it was the, the atmosphere was amazing. Um, shout out to all the people in Seattle, uh, coming out because they really, really showed a lot of love. Um, and it's just it's awesome to to uh, be a new team and be in a new place um, and people um, uh, willing to, to to come out and show that level of support. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, have you seen any of the crazy the crazy guys in the crowd, like uh, with the dragon outfits yeah. and? Yeah, I've seen a couple. There's like a group of like five or six guys, like all dressed up as dragon dragons. They had like dragon uh, PJs on or whatever, and it was it was awesome. I um I'm doing a player spot or a fan spotlight tonight, and I'm gonna be talking to one of these fans. Have you heard of Broccoli Guy? Jordan, are you there? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You started to break up a little. Okay. Um, I'm doing a, a fan spotlight thing where I, I try to get some fans to talk with me um, and and you know express their uh, level of love for the, the the team. Have you heard of Broccoli Guy? Yeah, yeah. I uh, I've seen him on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to be talking to him. Do, what are your thoughts of of dancing guy with broccoli? Uh, uh, I'm for I'm for it. Um, I'm glad, um, he's getting his chance to, you know, dance with, uh, various, uh, vegetables <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, I'm a big fan of his fits. <laughs> I like it. I like it. All right. Um, so again, we're halfway through the season. How has the, uh, the rule changes affected you at all personally? Uh, could you repeat that? Has has any of the rule changes affected you personally? Uh, um, no. Okay. No, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'd say no. Okay. What's the tone and the vibe in the locker room, um, and how do you feel that the team has responded to uh, the the you know season you guys have had so far? Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I mean, I would say uh, the vibe is. Uh, more so like a sense of uh, disappointment, not in the sense of like everything's lost, like there's no chance, 
um, anymore, but just that we know we're a good team and and we've shown glimpses of of playing at a high level. Um, we just need to play um, a game for all four quarters um, to to come out with a win. And um, as crazy as it sounds, all of our goals are still ahead of us. Um, sure, we'll need a little help from other teams. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's the crazy thing about football is just is as long as you keep playing, you – you really don't know what's going to happen. So, um, yeah, everyone's everyone's a little disappointed, but um, that definitely uh, has a fire under everybody. Um, wanting to prove everyone wrong. That's has our opinions about us, and and uh, we're we're really looking forward to this this uh, home game coming up. Yeah, so um, like I was saying before, um, you know, despite um, your guys' record with a couple mistakes in each game that, you know, kind of like it seemed to me that kind of like dug you guys a little bit of a hole in certain situations. I think you guys have played, um, you know, as well as any other team in the league. I think you guys could easily be one of the best, if not the best team in the league. Um I mean, even defensively, um, when you guys were playing against the Roughnecks, the Roughnecks are regarded as one of the best teams in the league. Um, you guys held them to zero points, which is um, at the point where you guys held them was the longest they've been held to zero points the entire season. How do you think that? How do you think that you can keep um, that mentality of how well you guys played uh, against the Roughnecks and turn it into more positive stuff? Um, into the latter half of the season. The season. Mm, um, just taking it day by day. Um, really focus. Really focusing in um, on practice um, and the techniques that that we uh, use when we're playing the game. Um, yeah. So I mean, I think that's going to be the biggest thing. Just keep playing with technique and um, the passion we had when we first came out there because um, we were we were snapping. Yeah, um, you guys are on fire, man. Yeah. yeah, you guys are on fire. Um, what do you think that you were doing that game um, for the first half that was, you know, just so menacing to the Roughnecks? Uh, I, we were just play, we we're playing with technique and um, we we're playing fast. Um, you know, looking back at the film, um, you know, we had uh, some mental errors, um, and, and they had capitalized on. Um, and and to win a game, you can't have that. Um, and that's I mean that's the difference between winning and losing. Uh, a couple plays here, a couple plays there, um, and. It's, it's completely different. Like, you know, they might not have any points. Um, so that's the, that's the beauty, um, in the, in the, the, the joy, I would say the joy and pain of football that, um, you know, when you're playing and you do it right, you'll get, you'll get the result you want. But when, you know, you have little, little mistakes or uh, one guy is uh, out of position, um, you know, it, it, it tends to, to get away from you. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's the biggest thing, just playing with technique and uh, that passion. Okay, all right. I like that. So um, you had a pretty big sack in the game against the Vipers. What can you tell me about that play? What do you remember about it? So they had, um, I think they had called a time. We had called a timeout, or they had called a timeout, or maybe it was a TV timeout. I can't remember uh, exactly, but um, we basically were. We got the call, and um, I knew I was going to have a one on one um, with uh, with one of the offensive linemen, and. Um, <laughs> 
you know, it was get, it was getting intense. So, you know, me and the guy uh, had some words exchanged um, on the field. You want to tell me what uh, you said? Nah, I mean, <laughs> it was just, just trash talking. Okay. It was just trash talking. It wasn't anything, like, too yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, just how it, just how it gets. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, um, you know, they, they hike the ball. Um, and then, you know, it's, it's me. It's mano y mano. Um, and I had won that time um, and got the sack. Um it was just awesome because it was my first uh, professional sack um, playing football. So it's always awesome to uh, get a sack, but to get it at home and it was a fourth down stop, I'm pretty sure, um, then just help help the team win. It was awesome. Yeah, it was, um, it was a fun sack to watch, man. It was good timing too. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, so – what do you look forward to most in the latter half of the season? What What do you think is the most exciting part of now that you've completed the first half of the inaugural season of the XFL? What do you look forward to in closing it out? Um, I am looking forward to playing, just playing all the teams again, honestly. Um, you know, now that we have our feet wet, um, and, and know what to expect to a degree um, from everyone. I think it'll be a lot more interesting. Um, you know, uh, speaking for myself and and and, and the other guys. Um, you know, you can you can beat a guy once, but it, it can you do it? Uh, can you do it again? So um, you'll have a feel for for your matchups and. Uh, I'm super excited to just to just go against everyone again. I'm pumped to see the second half of this season. You guys seriously pump me up. I know the, the, the record doesn't speak for your guys' play, man. I think you guys are way better than what your guys' record says, man. I'm I'm I really love watching you guys play, man. Um, um and so what I was gonna get on to that is is what I said is you guys have played some really close games all season. What do you think the team needs to do to be on a winning on the winning side of these close battles? What do you think you you guys need to do most to try and get on those on the winning side of, of things? Uh, just execute consistently. Um, that's the big thing. Um, yeah, like I said, like I was saying before, like you know, couple plays here, couple plays there. Um, and when you're executing consistently and everyone's on the same page, uh, you know, that's that's a hard team to beat. Um, so uh, uh, that would be my – that would be the word on my mind um, to um, flip this thing around uh, is consistency. Okay. I like that. And actually I couldn't disagree or couldn't agree with you more. I absolutely agree, man. Um, What's your what's your favorite thing that you've done in Seattle so far? We're gonna close it out with a couple more little random questions again. Okay, um, I was me, um, Durant, and a couple of other guys. We're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go hiking today, but um, we had to um, we had to put it off for another day. So I was looking forward to that, but. Um, some of the views here are, are amazing. I was able to go down, um, but I don't even know where. I don't even know where it's called. But like, um, just overlooking, um, like Seattle and the mountains and the. I can't remember the, the exact words. It's like the body of water leading to the ocean. It's, it has like a specific name the, for it. I, the Puget I Sound. Uh, the Puget Sound? Uh, I, I can't remember, but you know, the view was the view was awesome. Yeah, I saw um, I saw on your Snapchat you were like, "Well, look at that mountain." You're looking at Mount Rainier. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was pretty cool, man. Um, so um, the sightseeing's awesome. Um, the food is really good, and um, you know the people are awesome too. So you got a favorite food joint that you like to go to yet? Uh, yeah, I love going to uh, Sushi Ring and uh, 
Incorporated. Uh, it's just like a sushi spot out in the. I'm I'm not that good with directions, so I don't know the name of the places. But um, me, Tani, and uh, some of the guys will just like if we know we have time, we'll just uh, get in his car and uh, head up there to uh, get some good sushi. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You see that uh, new hero, my hero movie yet? Seen it. Yeah, I haven't seen um, the My Hero movie yet. Um, yeah, I definitely need to have that on the list of things I need to go do. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I've just been catching up. Hey, um, it's football season. I get it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I'll, I'll, in due time, I'll get, I'll get to it. All right, all right. How's the Super Smash Brothers tournaments going? Uh, it's good. Um, you know, uh, Brock and um, John, they're, they're, they're pretty good Smash players. Um, but, uh, I mean, uh, I, Noah, Noah, the uh, long snapper, he would surprise you too. And um, Ernesto. Um, All those special uh, teams guys are hanging out playing without you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, they're all uh, great Smash players, and uh, they're all good at different stuff, which makes uh, uh, some interesting nights. Awesome, man. Um, I appreciate you, again, once once again, you know, taking your time out and talking to me. Jordan, I, I love talking with you, dude, and I uh, hope we can talk again uh, a little bit later in the season. Definitely. It'd be awesome. All right, man. I appreciate well, you uh, doing it. Yeah, I, t- I hope you take care. Take Take good health. Uh, you know, in the rest of the season. And uh, I look forward to you I guys. I, I hope you guys do really well the, the end of the season. What did you say? Sorry, you cut out again. I said I hope you guys do really well towards the end of the season. I hope you have a good oh. ending to the season. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, and, all right, man. Take care. All right, peace. Jordan Thompson, love talking with this guy. He is seriously one of the most, like, real down-to-earth dudes that I've had conversations with in person and uh, over the phone at, at these practices and uh, keep keeping track of this this team. Uh, he's always willing to, you know, give me information, and uh, he's awesome, guys. Uh, make sure you guys go follow him on social media. He's hilarious. This guy busts a crazy worm. He's the best. He's a good dancer. He's a hilarious guy, and he's super, super funny. Um, awesome dude. Uh, can't can't thank him enough for his time, and uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of this season. Um, as we draw towards 20 minutes into this video, plus the G's 15 of technical difficulties, we are going to uh, have a hiatus. Um, I am going to be taking a 30-minute break and should have cornerback Channing Stribling talk to me. If he ends up having to have his meeting, like he said, that he might have to, um, I may talk to him later in the day or might reschedule for another day. But keep tuned because even if I don't talk to Channing, we got Broccoli Guy coming up later tonight. So Broccoli Guy, Channing Stribling, look out, talking to Fear Sports. Good stuff, guys. Go follow us on GCSN on Twitch. All right? All right, talk to you guys later.